Guys, we're gonna play, we're gonna do the burger warm up today to get ready for our snatch workout. So, uh, we're gonna play a game of copycat. What I want you guys to do is I want you to take this bar, I want you to put it right above where your belt would go. I want you to clinch that in the, in the, as far up in the crease of your hip as you can. No hands on the bar. Put your hands on the bar, straighten out your arms, and stand up. That's your snatch grip today. I want you to have a hook grip. Put a hook grip on that's thumbs first, fingers second. It might be uncomfortable for you. I don't really care. Hashtag you are tougher. Okay? Hold that bar right in the hang position. All we're doing is you're going to play a game of copycat. I'm going to tell you to do something three times. You're going to copy me. The first thing is three dip drives. I'm going to cue you to go, go, go. I want you to notice that on that dip drive, my shoulders never dropped in front of the bar. It looked just like a push press would. I, my body was straight up and down like a piston. Ready and go, go, go. Good. Now we're going to add a shrug. My shoulders still stay behind the bar, except when I'm done, I'm simply going to shrug my shoulders. Ready, go, go, go. Good. Next, we're going to add a scarecrow. So it's going to be a dip, drive, shrug, scarecrow. And my elbows come high and outside. And I want you to notice that that bar, if there was a zipper on my shirt, it would zip right up my shirt. Ready? And go. 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 Good. Now we're going to do a muscle snatch, guys. That's going to be a dip, drive, shrug, scarecrow. Turn the bar over to my overhead position. From here, I can lose my thumb if I want to. I just have to reset it before my next rep. Now, what I want you to notice in this muscle snatch, I dip drive, shrug, scarecrow, and as this bar is weightless and it's going over my head, I want you to notice that I'm quickly going to organize the relationship of my shoulder. My elbows are going to go down and my shoulders go up. Rather than, because I'm moving dynamically, I could have a tendency to land with this unorganized shoulder. So I'm going to try to turn those elbows down and shoulders up. Ready? Go! Hang. Reset your thumb. Go! Hang. Reset your thumb. Go. Good. Stay there. Have your elbows down, shoulders up. Stay there. Now I'm going to cue you to drop. You're going to drop down in your overhead squat on my cue. It'll look like this. Drop. Stand. Reset your feet. Ready? Drop. Stand. Reset your feet. Drop. Stand. Reset your feet. Drop. Stand. Reset your feet. Hang the bar. Reset your thumb. Now, guys, we're going to do a high hang snatch. Your shoulders still stay behind the bar. You are going to dip, drive, shrug, scarecrow, turn the bar over, and land in that overhead squat. Ready? Go! Stand. Hang. Reset your feet and your hook grip. Go! Stand. Hang. Reset your feet and your hook grip. Go! Stand. Hang. Reset your feet and your hook grip. Now, guys. I'm finally going to let your shoulders drop in front of the bar. I want you to put a soft bend in your knees like if you were standing in the military or you are standing in a wedding. So I can't even see it. Only you can. From this point, your knees don't bend anymore. I press my butt back to the wall behind me until the bar drops above my knees. Now my shoulders are in front of the bar. I want you to notice a few things. My shins are vertical to the ground. My, that means that my hamstrings are screaming at me right now. My shoulders are on the front of the bar, and I want to have a sense of urgency to jump my shoulders behind the bar. So ready? And soft bend on your knees. Press your butt back to the wall behind you until the bar is just above your knees. Your shins are vertical. Your hamstrings are screaming. Your shoulders are in front. You have to jump them behind. Snatch! Stand. Hang. Reset your feet and your hook grip. Soft bend in your knees. Press your butt back to the wall behind you until the bar is just above your knees. Your shins are vertical. Your hamstrings are screaming. Your shoulders are in front. You have to jump them behind. Good. Press your knees back. Get your butt up. Good. Hey, I want you to pinch my hand together and put the, uh, put the, with your shoulders. Get your shoulders back a little. Good, good. Hips up, knees back. Do you feel that burn in your hamstrings? Good, remember that. Stay there. Don't be sissy. Stay there. And... Snatch! Stand. Hang. Reset your feet and your hook grip. Now, guys, we're going to take this from the ground. What I want you to remember about it when we take it from the ground is... 
I have to strategically pull from the ground to above my knees so I'm in that same position where my shins are vertical. My hamstrings are screaming, my shoulders are in front, and I have to jump them behind. I have to be careful on that snatch that I don't pull to here because you can see that is not that ideal position to jump from. So, find your spot. Hook grip, wipe your feet one time. Soft bend your knees. Press your butt back to the wall behind you to the bars just above your knees. Memorize this position because you're gonna be back here in a second. Down to mid shin. Go to above the knees. Down to mid shin. Go to above the knees. Your shin should be vertical, hamstrings are screaming. Down to mid shin. Now snatch. Good, guys, I want you to do that three more times on your own. 